Hey, how's it going you guys? So, my name is Miguel Elliott. I am with Living Earth Structures out in California. And I have a, uh, my knighted name is actually Sir Cabalot. And I've been working on doing natural building for over 20 years or so. And so you could say it's a passion of mine. And I'm, um, you know, I see many, many benefits of doing natural building. Um, namely, the uh, materials I'm using are right from the ground, right from the earth. So as far as sustainability goes, it's about the most sustainable we can get, really. And, um, you know, and it's a whole lot of fun to work with, and it just makes a whole lot of sense. So um, I am excited to share about natural building with you. And, um, and so I want to share about a uh, structure that I'm in the process of building right now here in Santa Rosa. So uh, this is in a backyard. I'm next to uh, some, some chickens here, which you can hear in the, the background, right? And, um, and so this structure here that you can see is um, it's built out of uh, earth from the ground. It's framed out of pallets, uh, wooden shipping pallets. Uh, insulated with straw and covered in an earthen plaster. All right, so I will show you the inside so you can get a sense. Uh, oh, there's another another bench there. All right, and um, and so here is the inside of the structure here. And so you know you can see there's a lot of fun decorative features on it. Um, you know we had fun with rounding out the windows and sculpting in uh, you know glass blocks and stained glass and, and things and has a, a nice round roof um, and you can see the, the skylight that's going in there and so uh, yeah so I have time uh, to talk to you about natural building um, I think it's a, a great thing for us to be exploring in the new paradigm that we are currently looking at creating and there are many, many benefits to doing natural building. Um, so I'm going to share with you actually um, some excer excerpts from my book. I have a book that's uh, it's called, it's called Accomplishments, right? So this is the name of my book is, is Accomplishments. And, uh, and so this, this book here, um, it uh, kind of goes into different, um, you know, the philosophy behind natural building. So in my book here, I list that, uh, 50 reasons of why it's good to cob. So most importantly, it's fun, right? That's why I do it. That's why I do natural building is that's fun. Um, to anybody can help sculpt cob. Elderly, disabled, uh, children, businessmen. I mean, people without any construction experience at all can be involved in helping to sculpt uh, and build with cob. Um, it's very easy to learn in a workshop, right? So most structures that are done are done during uh, natural building workshops that will people come together and um, and they build the structure and so the owner of the land gets the help building the structure and then um, everybody participating gets to learn how to build it so it's a real win-win situation it's very affordable for you using materials right from your land and i like to think that the property value of the land goes up when you see that you have a building material uh, that can be used to build ovens and benches and little structures in your backyard, right? Uh, it helps to build a relationship with the earth on your property. So if there's earth that's uh, not so great for growing um, uh, you know, food in because it's so high in clay, well, it's uh, great for building. Um, it's water resistant if protected properly, right? So I usually will plaster, um, you know, the structures and put a good roof on it. The, the three rules to ensure a structure's longevity is it needs a good set of boots, a good jacket, and a good hat, right? So it needs a good foundation, a good plaster, and a good roof. So if it has all those three things, 
there's no reason why it won't last forever. I mean, there's earthen structures built in England over 600 years ago that are still being lived in today, right? So it makes a whole lot of sense. Um, it inspires creativity and artistic flair. Like you can see here in this little earthen structure, um, you know, you can have a whole lot of fun, um, you know, kind of designing um, any way you want, right? So, uh, yeah, there's really no limit on what you can do with it. It's a lot easier to sculpt with than cement is. Um, it avoids using wood, giving us healthy air to breathe, right? Um, so th this earthen structure um, doesn't really require much wood at all except for the roof. And, um, you know, and you can even do an earthen dome too, which is, I think is a great way to build, a sandbag dome. And, uh, and just so there's no wood needed at all. Um, it avoids using cement, which is unhealthy and causes pollution. It's estimated that a sixth of the pollution in the atmosphere is all from the production and the manufacturing of cement, right? So it, cement is very energy um, laborious uh, to produce, and uh, so it has a very high carbon footprint, of course. Um, the cob walls breathe, allowing you to live in a living organism. Right, hence the name living earth structures. Right, I, I like to think that these structures are alive. Right, they have a, a consciousness. Um, often the space is built feels like being inside of a hug. Right, so often I'll do a, an oven or a, a bench and a wrap around, and when I'm sitting inside, I, I feel like I'm being an, embraced. And same with this nice round structure here. It, it's very embracing. Right. Uh, the clay in Cobb uh, absorbs toxins, right? So that's why people pay $100 to take a bath in the clay because, um, you know, it's, it's known to absorb the toxins, right? And uh, so it's, it's very alkalizing for the body, too. Um, it involves working with your community. It's a great work party. In South America, they call it a minga. Right? A minga is a, is a work party, and a lot can get done in a work party. The, the sculpting with the cob strengthens the fingers, right? So I've been told that I have very good massage fingers because I, I, I'm working with the cob all the time, and so it really helps to strengthen the, the cob. Um, it's easy to repair, add on to, uh, replaster. If, it, if anything ever gets nicked um, or dinged, it's very easy just to come and, and just patch it up, no problem. Um, it doesn't use noisy power tools that, that are noisy and, and that burn energy, right? So I've been on whole construction projects where we don't really need to use any saws or, you know, sometimes drills, you know, but for, um, you know, for, as far as the cob goes, the only tools you need are your bare hands and your bare feet, right? So no, no really expensive tools needed. Um, it allows you to work outside receiving fresh air and sunlight, right? A lot of good vitamin D. Um, the cob absorbs the heat during the day and then radiates it in at night, right? So on a, on, when it's uh, cold at night, it's much warmer inside of the earthen structure. It helps you appreciate Mother Earth and be more connected to your land. It's good for the skin and it gets you into shape, right? Um, it gives people a sense of accomplishment to, to build um, you know, a structure for themselves. Um, it can be taught as part of a school curriculum, right? This should be mandatory. Every school should have a natural building component in the school. So by the time a student has graduated from their school, they know how to build a basic structure using earth right from the ground. And then they can go home and, and teach their parents how to build an earthen structure. Um, it's an excellent activity for, for parents to do with their children, right? And for the, the family to all do together. It satisfies children's love for playing in the mud, right? Children need to build with earth. It just, it just feels so good and they love it and it needs to happen a whole lot more. It brings more nature into city living, right? So if you're living in a city, you can still do earthen plasters on your wall. You can do benches in your backyard and ovens and, and little, you know, small little backyard huts and things. 
Um, a Cobb house is more affordable, allowing you more free time, right? So you're not stuck, caught in the whole 30 you know, year mortgage trap and uh, having to pay for your house because you're living in a house that most likely you help build yourself. And so it was very, very affordable. Um, you know, you can build um, all sorts of different things. You can build hot tubs attached to the oven. I've done hot tubs where I can cook a pizza in the oven and then put it on a boat and float it on the hot tub while I'm soaking. It's called sustainable hedonism. You got to keep it fun, right? That's what, that's what makes it sustainable. Uh, it brings people together. It's an excellent bonding agent, right? So I've been in workshops where nobody knew each other. And, uh, and then after a week of working on building together, they, um, you know, really come together and have a, um, you know, a really strong bond, right? Um, you can travel and work all over the world. I mean, we're very fortunate to live on a planet that has great earth for building, right? So, um, you know, I've, I personally have built in Argentina and Thailand and Guatemala and um, and Italy and Africa, you know, all over the country, you know, and, um, you know, so it's, uh, you know, it just makes a whole lot of sense. This is how we've been building for hundreds, thousands of years. And so, you know, let's keep it up. Um, you know, uh, building cob benches allow you to sit and relax and pause and enjoy life, right? And not be in such a hurry all the time. Um, we're, we're at the, we're at, uh, number 31 right now in our, in our reasons for why it's good to cob. It recycles excavated clay, right? So, uh, you know, a lot of times people will dig up clay and they bring it to a dump, but this, uh, you know, you're able to build whole villages using recycled excavated clay. Um, it's design can be rounded, smooth, soft, and sensual, right? You know, like I would say this structure we're in now is, is pretty darn sexy. <laughs> um, being rounded makes them more earthquake proof, right? Uh, and all the straw in it too gives it you know, tensile strength. Um, it's tapping into ancient building wisdom, the, the, the way of the condor, right? So the um, the way of the indigenous people from South America and Central America and all over the world in Africa. I mean, they've been doing this for thousands of years. And so we, we really need to go back and learn from our ancestors. Um, you can make a good living being hired as a natural builder. Um, you know, and I think there's going to be way more of a, of a market and a need for natural building in years to come. It allows you to live in nature as cob houses are not yet permitted in the city, but we are working on that. There is a process of getting a, a cob house permitted and, uh, and so there'll be more um, possibilities in the future for that too. Um, you can have arched doors, rounded windows, uh, curved walls, allowing you to live like a hobbit, right? Uh, number 41. Uh, being barefoot grounds you to the earth, making you more alkaline and, uh, and making the body more balanced and healthy. Uh, it gives children and adults and couples a chance to practice teamwork. Its design can be comfortable, rounded, and form-fitting for the body. Right? It's personally empowering to build with natural building materials with cob and adobe. Um, it gives people a use to uh, of pallets, used pallets. There's estimate, estimated that there's over 20 million pallets thrown away every year, um, you know, and straw, so much straw is burned every year, but this gives a use, you know, to that uh, used material. It's excellent for people with chemical sensitivities, right? So people with chemical sensitivities, there's no paint in here. There's no cement, I mean, it's all natural. So it's very, very healthy. It, it builds a new social structure where people depend on each other, right? And, you know, we, we really we need to do that more. Uh, cob houses are beautiful. It uh, gives children um, a, a break from their computers and TV and uh, uh, video games. And number 50, it's fun. It's worth a second mention. So those are the 50 reasons of why I like to do natural building. And I hope you have enjoyed this and 
Uh, to see more pictures of my work, you can go to my website, livingearthstructures.com. Um, I'm out here in California, Santa Rosa, California, but I do travel all over. Thanks.